Y'all came for the best drill moves on NBA 2K21 and I got y'all, bro. People are out here guarding my two-way slashing play like I'm a play shot. Switch, come on. Enough, you're not guarding. I'm not here to waste no time though, we're about to get straight into the moves. Make sure to hit the like button, let's go for 30 likes. 30 likes and I'm dropping a dribble tutorial, but let's get straight into the dribbles, let's get it! What's good YouTube, it's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Listen, if this is your first time watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Listen, the subscribe button is so crucial, we're on the road to 6,000 subs. You guys see the sub count on your screen, I know y'all see the sub count, man. Hit the subscribe button, it really is going to help us a lot. We're, we're half, bro, we're more than halfway there to 6k and it, just, it don't even feel like it, you know what I'm saying? We're just growing, we're growing faster than you ever would think of. Just keep grinding, y'all, y'all, you know, just a little quick motivation, keep grinding. Also, make sure to hit the like button, yo, and make sure to hit that like button, Um, you know, like make it blue make it blue break the like button till now i'm playing just, just hit the like button though um it really helps our channel grow and also the comments you know i respond to all comments if y'all didn't know I'm, I'm i'm the least hollywood youtuber you're gonna meet on this you know what you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna live by that too i'm the least hollywood person i read all comments i read every comment even if you think i don't i read it but listen we're about to go to the micro i'm not here to waste no time i'm gonna show you guys my new six i have changed my six up just a little bit and i wanted to show y'all you know what i'm saying just like keep you updated because i don't want y'all to be thinking yo he's doing a different move i never seen that yeah because i changed my cigs you feel me let's get to the straight to the mic court though and y'all opinion what's your favorite 2k of all time comment down below right now i'm gonna respond to it too with my favorite 2k but listen let me know let me know what you guys think is the best 2k of all time in my opinion right now i'm gonna say right now i think it's 2k 16 but 2k 17 was my favorite you feel me like 2k 16 was the best but 2k 17 was my favorite 2k just because like an experience bro. i played i played like at like 5 a.m in the nights bro like it was that type of vibe Needless to say, these are the best dribbles in the game. Like, you can do literally anything, speed boost out of them. You know, you can get the best, fastest animations. Y'all see me green with a 68 three ball. Tune into the two-way playmaker build. But I don't know. This build feels a lot faster than my play shot. Maybe it's the build change. I know this build gets 99 speed and the other one gets like 97. But it feels like that too, bro. It makes a huge difference. And these dribbles just make me feel like, you know, the play shot out there. People have to guard me up close. They can't, like, disrespect my shot with the green at nine times out of ten now. I just, like, you know, I've been focused and determined to agree with this build. I'm trying to prove people that you don't need Zen to shoot. You do not need Zen to shoot this year consistently. You just got to, you know what I'm saying, just practice your shot. And, yeah, I mean, I'm showing now I'm, I'm human, too. Like, I'm missing my shots. He shoot the half court. But listen, I am I know I'm wasting time. Let's get straight to the moves. Um, I'm going to show you guys my animations right now. I'm going to show you guys my jump shot, too. Um, just because you guys clicked on this video. Just because you clicked on this video. I'm going to show you guys the jump shot I've been using to be able to agree consistently. It's different from the one I showed you on how to agree with the low three-pointer. But... I'm gonna show you guys right now. But first things first, we're about to go to my dribble moves. I'm gonna show you guys my dribble moves real quick. So dribble style, I rock with quick. Um, that's the one I like to use. James Harden is also good too. I don't think it really matters in current gen. It actually matters in next gen, but in current gen, like dribble moves, it really does, or dribble style, it doesn't matter. I use quick though. I feel like um, it makes my favorite, I feel like it makes my player move faster. Maybe it doesn't, I don't really know. But um, moving cross, I rock with Pro Two. This is this is the only one you should rock with. Honestly, I didn't buy a whole bunch of animations for this player just because I had a play shot which I was dribbling on first, and I just went to this player who could dribble this exact same and faster. So I rock with Pro Two cross. It gives you the most ankle breakers out of any crossover, and it's just the best. It's been the best in 2K16, and you know people who say otherwise are you know bugging. Pro Two has been the best since then. Bro. Moving behind the back. Pro 5. You can either rock Pro 5 or Pro 6, actually. But Pro 5, as you guys can see, gives you that little speed boost. It just makes you move so fast. I, I, I low-key rock with this one over any behind the back in the game. I feel like, yeah, I just feel like Pro 5 is the best one to go when it comes to just ISO. Don't do... I used to, like, run up the court and do behind the back, and I was like, why? That's why I didn't like Pro 5 at first, but, like, that's when I didn't know how to dribble. So, I would rock Pro 5 behind the back. It just gets you by so much faster and, then, you know, just speed boost out of it. Uh, moving spins. It doesn't really matter this year because the only spin that it's like very effective is actually no no i'm not gonna lie you can, um spins are actually very effective or pretty effective i've seen some people doing it recently you can either go pro 4 basic one i eat rock pro 4 i think it's still the fastest one in the game um it's been the fastest like i said since 2k16 i'm an og so i'm two og 2k head and i'll tell you pro 4 and basic one are the top two um moving spins but i don't really do them like that it's all of them are like situational that's the thing if you're like going for a clip then that's when you like really use it but the glitchy spin back you know the one that um people have been doing all year is not included in behind the back so you can even have mo uh, moving spins so you can go with like normal one moving spin you can still get that glitchy one so hezzy pro 4 bro pro 4 is the best moving hezzy in the game it gives you a speed boost glitch out of it and bro if y'all want to see my speed boost um video bro it's, it's just so overpowered it's op you could just teleport by them with this move um it's different from like you know the one you flick the stick up you just do a hezzy and you just run out of it you just go mad fast no one's stopping that 
Um, Sanders size up. Now, here's the thing. I honestly like Tim Hardaway. I like Tim Hardaway size up in D-Rose. Um, if you guys are looking for like w more ways to speed boost, D-Rose will help you um, just, you know, speed boost by your defender. And I feel like it's actually like a top three um, signature size up. Tim Hardaway, I like it when like, you know, like the lock if a lockdown is like pressuring you, bro. Um, I like this move because it helps you like, you know, gather your dribble, get like away from the defender and just like go crazy. So it's really your preference. I honestly go with D-Rose because I like to get like some speed boost on um, plays to get by my defender. But it's really your preference. Either either or is not bad. Next thing is basic size of packages. Honestly, bro, you can either go Pro 2 or Pro 5, but Pro 2, bro, I found out it just makes your dribbles so much faster. I, if you guys watch my clips, not if you guys see me moving like mad fast, it's Pro 2, bro. I'm telling you guys, Pro 2 is going to make your whole gameplay a lot faster. Pro, you guys see how like stick like strong and fast the other moves are pro 5 is fast but pro 2 is way faster bro i found out actually via next gen because I, I it's like kind of the same the your moves wise it's not no not completely like i'm talking about like the size up and everything um next gen is pretty similar and pro 2 is just so much faster than pro 5 it's crazy i found this out like three days ago and i had to show y'all bro get hipped pro 2 is like the best thing to do next we have size up escape size up escape pro 5 bro there's no other there is no other like better size up escape this is the one that's gonna help you get the best crab animation as you guys just seen in the best curry slide this is the this is hands down the best size up escape in the game bro you're gonna be able to do curry sliding you're gonna be able to crab people with ease it's just the best one to do i'm telling you guys from experience there's no, there's literally no other better one. I haven't found a better one, and you, other YouTubers will tell you Pro Five is the best one. So go Pro Five. It's the best way to go. Do, do not go with any other. Please, just don't. It's just for the best of you. Unless you can't get Pro Dribble moves, um, I will go Pro Five. Go Pro Five. It's the best one to go with. And I'm gonna show you guys my um dunks and layups and everything. I'm gonna show you guys my jump shot right after that. But copy these down if you guys want. These aren't even my max dunks. Sadly, I, I wish I could show you guys, but I'm not even 99, and I really want to push this video out today. Um, but these are my dunks as of right now. I can get Westbrook's dunks and like cockback dunks when I hit um, 99 overall, and that's just me at 99. You know what I'm saying? So um, I have to grind there to show you guys, but just know that um, Westbrook and cockback will go um, number two and three on my dunk list. But you guys can copy these down if you guys really want. These are basic dunks right here. But um, those are my basic dunks, and I'm gonna show you guys my jump shot and the jump shot creator right now. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys the best shot of your life. Uh, I'm dropping a gem for y'all boys. Yo, this is the best. This is hands down the best jump shot in the game. So, um, if you're going, if you're like a low three point shooter, even a, if this works on my low three pointer, bro, it's gonna work for you. You feel me? This is the best jump shot I use on my two way slashing playmaker, which you guys can go to it into by the way. But it's Dante Exum, bro. Dante Exum is the base and any upper release you want. But I'm gonna give you guys the easiest one to time. We wanna go base Dante Exum, upper release one Larry Bird, and that's you know Larry Bird is probably the easiest one to green because when the ball goes over your head, you release the ball. You know what I'm saying? I would pray it uh maybe with kobe or curry um so this is this is the jump shot right here that i've been using recently and it's just it's just so pure so you want to go with um max speed max speed is the best way i know it looks mad fast but you're gonna you're gonna be able to agree this with these i'm telling y'all so i will go like 93 percent and seven percent i know it's like what bro what's the point of the second release i know but larry bird is probably the easiest cute in the game when it comes to up releases and last year was ray allen but ray allen they kind of like i don't know why they changed his jump shot so i will go with larry bird and curry and dante x and base bros it's, it's the best way to go especially if you have a low three-pointer like me i have a 69 three-pointer right now i'm still consistent you know what i'm saying you guys see some clips me grinning from deep but this build is gonna this build is tough at 99 i'm telling you guys it's worth the make and especially when you hit 99 your green window gets so much higher but this is um the jump shot i would use listen y'all hope you guys did enjoy these six as much as i did if you guys um enjoy this video let's make sure to hit that like button comment down below and subscribe we're going for um 6k we're going for 6k by may bro by the end of may we're going for 6k i know like every time we shoot for goals i feel like it works like you know what i'm saying when you shoot for goals bro you're striving for the best and it's gonna make you bring the best out of you you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm telling you guys from personal experience i went for i went for bro we went for 5k by um what was it the end of march we hit it like what a, two weeks before the end of march it's just crazy to think that you know what i'm saying but if you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this um uh video and six and everything as much as i did dribble tutorial at 30 likes 30 likes if this video hits 30 likes you know what i'm saying i'm dropping it as soon as we hit it you know what i'm saying I'm trying to be more consistent any way i can and also light goals like I, goals and anything like i said like help a lot and we're going for a light goal with this you know what i'm saying it's gonna help me you know bring the best out of my you know six and everything i'm gonna show you guys like every everything i know i'm not even the best dribbler but like for, even for like new dribblers out there i'm just gonna help you guys reach that like potential y'all going for you know what i'm saying but i hope you guys did enjoy these like as much as i did make sure the like button comment down below subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video y'all peace